Hi everyone. Welcome back to A Sky Full of Stars, Hikari's Route, Episode Seven. So, in the last episode, Akito and Hikari went on a date in Harbor Town, a place with lots of upscale shops and a pretty attractive architecture. And the most important things that they went to the planetarium. And the show kind of emphasized why Hikari wants Prox Starlight to occur. So the narrator showed the comparison from past to present. It's like, well, in the past, there weren't that many street lights, and this is what the sky looks like back then. And here is what it looks like now. And Hikari wants to see the real starry sky in its former glory. But right now we have some objections, and it looks like the people, maybe Morita-san, wants Prox Starlight to be canceled, and it's creating quite a rift in the Six Stars Club, with some clubs opting to quit. So let's see what's the solution and what they're going to do about it. So it looks like Morisawa High is facing a hard decision. Okay, so Akito's like, well, the problem is not what you said, but how you said it. So if things get too out of hand, then everything will have been for nothing. <laughs> so everyone is at their wits and with their first year from Mormisawa. So he had become obstinate and would not listen to anyone. Yeah, I'm so why? So the Morisawa first year argued vehemently at the stern words. So Ikari's words were half to herself. Well, maybe that's why Morwiso of first year's stubborn facade cracked and he looked depressed. So handing out pamphlets was canceled for the day and we were holding an emergency meeting. So there had been a little trouble on the net. So we had made an SNS account for Product Starlight and created a PR movie. Well, honestly though, none of us were used to the tools and we were not able to use them well. And that's when a user started getting upset on the message board. So the situation flared up in a small scandal has started. And it's one of the online arguments. So the initial reason was that people who agree with Product Starlight voiced their some slightly extreme opinions on light pollution. And then people opposed to the opinion started a debate, which was fine, but then the more we saw first year jumped in. So he really loves stars and constellations, and he must have really taken Hikari's words to heart. And I'm sure that he had just bottled up all these emotions inside. Well, that's how flame wars start at the end. And then he tossed his feelings all over the Prague Starlight account. So lots of, I would say like, just flaming and trashing other people and bashing other people. So then the internet argument suddenly exploded, including things that had nothing to do with Six Stars Club. So now they're going to like all these personal insults. And there's nothing we could do then. So there's just only a few comments by regulars, but today there are dozens of comments. 
and their opinions for and against our efforts, some people are supportive, but irresponsible insults were being thrown around. So even though we closed the comment section, it looks like people are resorting to email. So they're sending all these hate threat mails to the members. Hanukkah said this, this like she is exhausted. So it must have been her first experience with this kind of thing. So her face looks tired. So Nishi Hai first year, who has been listening from the side, raises her hand slowly. Well, it's not wrong, but words can hurt people when they're used recklessly. So more than that, Park Starlight is our dream. It's not something we can force on people. And it's something like wishing on Shooting Star or writing a wish for, let's see, Tanabata. All we can do is convince more and more people to see things our way. But how can we get out of this mess? So Kawana Kajima answered Toyota's opinion with a wistful voice. Well, we certainly had felt like we were making progress at the stargazing a few nights before. Well, at least we thought we had. But it seems we are mistaken. So the president of the shopping center association has contacted us at the beginning of this week. So this is one of the points that Morita san brought up. <sighs> so the president said that he would personally help and that there were others who wanted to. But that's not enough to light up the night. And it was like the enthusiasm we felt as the stargazing meetup has been replaced with the feeling of hopelessness. Toyota's words weighed on all of us. So things have felt good when we started Project Starlight, but now we are on a total losing streak. We didn't even know if our small pamphlet distributions are working. Um, yes. Hikari nods, her face still stern. And she must have been thinking about how to deal with our current situation. So Hikari is the product leader, and no one knows what to do without her direction. Hmm. So I think we have to deal with the net problem, honestly. So it's okay if I take care of it. So Honoka is pale and wobbly. Well, I guess we can continue to hand out pamphlets and flyers. Well, stop it, both of you. So, no fighting. This is something we should be working together. So everyone is starting to get 
irritable. Mi, mina san, ochitsuite kudasai. So da yo, kenka shite mo shou ga nai jan. Naka yoku shimashou. Several cells down when they saw the first year's teary eyes. So what are we going to do now? Um, well. So Honoka looks at Hikari. So, any ideas? So we'll do both. So one, hand out flyers and pamphlets, and two, find a way to control or moderate the comment section. So anything helps at this point. Yeah, that's our supposed goal. And even if we could not light up the night. So when Hikari spoke up in an energetic voice, everyone reluctantly starts moving. So the big problem is that there is a lack of moderation in the comment section. So there's not really anybody who is able to wisely monitor and moderate the comment section. And that's why one little argument ballooned to a really big hate war, flame war between the people who want Product Starlight and the people who don't. And I don't think Honoka is very good at moderating because, well, she's really friendly and I don't think she can handle tense situations very well. And I'm not sure if Hikari, Kurona, or the other people can handle it very well either. And I'm sure Akira is going to, to try to clean it up, but the damage is already done. So, well, anything helps at, at this point. So Hikari and I rode the bus together. So Ikari had been gazing at the landscape through the window. So is she depressed or just thinking? Was it? So that night, the gentleman who came with the old man champ had pointed out how weak our plan is. And now things are going wrong. Maybe we are realizing our own weakness. But it's vague, so we ignored it. Hmm. So I could not answer that question. And it's not that I don't know. Only all the answers I could think of, I didn't want to say. So we had been so excited at first, but... Every time we thought we were making progress, it turns out just to just fall through. And then there is the problem on the net. So everyone is despondent, looking like they don't want to think anything about the problem. And honestly, it would have been difficult to continue Product Starlight as we are. And before I could find the words to cheer Hikari up, the bus arrives at the Mikazuki station. So when I got off the bus, I saw a taxi outside of the stop and buy. It's empty, so it must have been waiting for a passenger. So I wonder who it is. So Kotaro saw us and came out of his doghouse, his tail wagging. But then he... Let's see, slunk back in right away. So I guess it's because someone he didn't know walked out of the main building of the Satomi house or the convenience store. 
よく言い聞かせておきますのでどうぞお怒りをお沈めくださいませ。Okay, so Morita s i g s here. あなたは私と会うたびにたたり神にでも出くわしたような顔をしますね。Hmm, so there is a street gentleman with Miharu san, or sensei, as she bowed her head in shame. Wait, it's that guy. The guy who com complained about our project. Oh, yeah, so Mor Morita san. Yep, so the guy that came with o m a n Champ. So that was the person she wanted to avoid so badly that she worked in the store. Well, there wasn't anyone like that. There that day, so I guess it must have been him. Hmm, so that means that this man is an old member of the Six Stars Club. So I wonder what business he has with Miharu teacher. Hmm? Wait, you two. And they both noticed us. Oh, good evening. Oh, so it's you back then. So, Morita-san looked at us again and gave a gentlemanly greeting. Oh, it's you back then. So, Morita-san looked at us again and gave a gentlemanly So, what are you doing today? <laughs> so, Miharu sensei stays silent, but it was as if her eyes are trying to tell me something. <laughs> so, it seems like that's what she wants to say. コモンであるサオトメさんとお話ししていましたうーん。Um, well, about, really、troubled, so、sure プロジェクトスターライトが何かミハルさんは何かを知っていたのすぐに。計画を取りやめていただけないでしょうかえさもなくはむつら星の会を解散していただきます。Wait, so does he have authority? あの、どうしてそんな。っていうか、急に出てきて何なんですかあなた Because he's an ex member and I don't think he has. こら、言葉を慎みなさい、おきばし。Or I think、um, he's trying to convince Miharu, well, do something about it or disband it to. Well, you're an old member of the Six Stars Club, right? Morita san? There you go. But I don't think you have that kind of authority. I don't know you. Well, he does. Why? Miharu san said with a sigh. Amako, Nishiko, Meiko, Moromisawa, Seisen Joshi, Hoshi no Daiichi. この六甲からなる天文部の集まりにムツラボシの会と名付けたのは私です。Hmm. So I was like, well, I was the one who put this together, and that's so you named it. So that meant. ムツラボシの会を作った人。So Morita-san affirms without speaking. あなたのやり方は請求にすぎます。その上、配慮がまるで行き届いていない。そんなやり方では、到底、第三者に受け入れてはもらえない。いえ、それどころか、反発を招くでしょう。Morita san does not say anything, but it seems he understood the, con the current situation of Prague Starlight. 誤ったやり方は、時として時間をかけて積み上げてきたものをたやすく壊してしまうそうなる前に計画を中止してください 
So unable to respond, Hikari hung her head silently. Morita-san glances at Hikari and moves to the taxi, and then the rear door opens automatically. それからさおともさん。はい。Yes。先ほどのお働き口の件、本当にお困りでしたら私からも紹介できますので。あ、はい。考えておきます。So I wonder what he's going to do to help Mihari Sensei. And we know that Mihari does not want to go back to teaching, but I think that's what Morita-san wants. それでは失礼します。so you watch Morita-san leave in the taxi silently. Okay, so now that Morita-san is gone, let's see what Mihari is going to say to Akito. So Mihari-sensei or Mihari-san shouted half crying. She never got like that, even when the manager itself yelled half well, then again, that's bad, and we know that Mother Satomi is not very happy with Miharu wanting to be this way. So Miharu san let out her anger out and grabbed an orange from the Kotatsu table. Hikari and I sat across the kotatsu from Miharu-san. And it appears Morita-san has been very direct when he had talked about our situation. And other, other than that, it seems he asked Miharu-san about the Six Stars Club activities and he scolded her when she could not answer properly. So basically, Miharu has no idea about Prague Starlight that was started by Hikari. And perhaps he had scolded her about her current lifestyle too, but maybe that's for her own good. Well, I don't, I don't think he really cares that much. Well, I'm sorry. This is my fault. Well, then again, Mihari has nothing much productive to do anyways. The scolding might have been quite harsh, judging from her tired face. So that guy is an old member of the Six Stars Club, but who is he? And so Mihara-san burrowed under the kotatsu, looking cold and answered while peeling her orange. So Miharu-san nods heavily. Morita-san。Morita-smile. Okay. So use gentle words, but the stern meaning didn't have any mercy. And for Mihara-san, living in her current lifestyle, I could understand why she did not want to see him. So he's scary. So he's a professional astronomer or something? I never. Well, I had heard that some old members of the Six Stars Club had gone in that direction. Um, yeah. So after we returned from the date, Mihara-san had complained that we were a real-life soppy couple of lovebirds. So he is the director of that planetarium. 
Wow. Wait, huh? Kanto? Ano planetarium. Morita san ga tatete no. So he's one of the founders. So Mihari nods, her face saying, Well, see what I mean? So Nahitoni, Jikichikina Shio Hakoba Serenante, Antara Nani Arakastano. Uh, I'm sorry, so a lot of things have happened. And I summarize everything to Mihari Sensei. And if there's one thing, Mihari should be more involved in what's going on. Rather than wait until something bad happens to the point where Morita san has to personally tell the teacher about all the problems that the Six Stars Club is facing. So I told her about our failure to make progress with Prog Starlight, as well as about the trouble on the net. <laughs> So Mihari san said, Well, while holding her stomach. She stuffs her cheeks with the careful peeled orange to cleanse her, let's see, palate. So cancel the project or disband the club. So it seems. We had two choices, but actually, that wasn't the case. So, if he had the authority to disband the Six Stars Club, then he could just do it. And we could see Morita san's consideration in the fact that he came all the way to tell us to stop the project. <laughs> And the teacher cries to Hikari. Well, I'm sure everything will be fine in the end. And even though we are down, we could not help but try to comfort the adult crying in front of us. Why well, admit, I am a bad teacher. So we cheered Miharu Sensei up the best we could until he stops crying. Okay, so what's going on now? So this time, Kurtaro comes over to Hikari with his tail. Wagging when she came out of the main building. Hikari spoke while lightly stroking Kotaro. Well, the spider looks, she's still a teacher that cares about her students. And though it's possible Morita san is just that scary. So it seems that Project Starlight has reached a roadblock. So if we told everyone about what Mor Morita san said, they would want to cancel the project. It's like, well, we want to save the clubs and not be forced to disband. And that might have been okay on its own, but with that lingering feeling of hopelessness, I'm worried that. About the future of the Six Stars Club. But that's what we do best. We wanted to let more people in on this fun. それで振動を思うするのは自分たちだけだもん。でも違うんだね。アピールするってことは誰かを巻き込むことで。それは私たちが思っているよりずっと繊細で大切なものなのかもしれない。So put my arm around Hikari's shoulders as she whispers sadly. But I could not find the words to say to her. 
and all I could think of are cliche phrases that would not fix anything. So Ikara looks up at the sky, and as she looks at the light shining stars in the early night sky, she mutters to herself. So I guess this is it. So Ikari put her hand in her sea pocket and grips something inside. I look at her from the side. Her face is like a lost child. I'm angry at myself for not being able to hold her hand as we walked, but I just could not bring myself to it, to do it. Wait, no, no, no way. So, um, it's let's see, M V E M J S U M P. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Neptune. Wait, no, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. So planets are lined up from the sun, and there you go. And that's common knowledge. But it says here, you're right. So they have found other objects in the same size as Pluto, and if Pluto is a planet, then all these objects have to be plants too. So Pluto had been classified as a dwarf planet. So yeah, you know? Yeah, before I read it, I was just a child, and I'm being treated differently. こんなこともあるんだね。宇宙では分からないことの方がたくさんあって、観測技術が発達すると新しい事実が発見されるから、そういうことも結構あるみたいだよ。へえ、難しくて何言ってるかわかんないよ。So Sai reads the hard books that adults do. すごいよね。Well, I just want to help you out, so give you some insight. That's right. Well, if it isn't a planet. Hold on, I cut off size conversation, so let's see. Okay. So back then, we never got tired of thinking about space. We read books and shared knowledge during the day, and when the sun went down, we went to our secret observatory to point out our telescope at the stars. And the more we know, the closer we felt to space. We thought we could reach the stars someday. And why do we believe that? So if I remember, the reason why Pluto is not a planet anymore is because the orbit for Pluto. Is drastically different from the orbits for the other planets, 
And at some point in time, I'm talking about years, Neptune is actually the farthest planet out away from the sun. And Pluto is actually closer to the sun than Neptune. And it was this argument that led to all this reclassification. And under the new classification, Pluto is not a planet anymore. So anyways, so it's time for the day's club activities. So the Six Stars Club has been busy with Project Starlight since it had started. So it had been a long time since we had a normal club afternoon. So we had been so busy and I have forgot what the club normally did. So is this normal? So we were in the club room, but there's nothing to do. So they can't do anything about Project Starlight, given that there's opposition. And what else? So what's going on with Hinami? She's excitedly reading a book about space alone. And across from her, a tall boy is flipping through a basketball magazine. So Takeichi. And why is he here if he's not astronomy? Hey, so why are you here? There you go. Um, hello. He is not listening. Ah, okay. It's a sign I compulsively picked up my smartphone from the desk. So I'll just do something to pass time as well. I looked at the still open chat app and our new messages. それは困ります。どうか謝らないでください。そうだよ、川中島。君たちが辞めても何にもならないって。でもこのままじゃ、プロジェクトスターライトは中止。最悪、ムツラボシの会を解散させられてしまうっす。Well, I'm sorry, so it was one of my call or like students or classmates that started the fight online, the flame war, so it's best if we stay out of this and withdraw. But we need all these schools to be together. And calling it the Five Stars Club isn't going to do anything or make it better. していただけないでしょうね。今更名前を変えるのって新年を曲げるみたいですっきりしないですよ。それに名前なんかより大事なことがあると思う。この際だから言わせてもらいますけど、プロジェクトスターライト自体がうまくいってない方が問題じゃない
So the site hadn't replied, and the messages have not been read. So Hinami stood as soon as she was called. So what's going on? So I wonder what Hinami has been looking at because she's acting like like a cat. Hinami calls with her hands and yells in a strange voice. Wait, what's going on? So what's wrong, Hinami? Relax. Hinami finally snapped at being abused by Takeichi. So, Takeichi is a stranger. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember saying that. So, it wasn't even a month before, but it felt like a long time ago. So, does your mother do that with stray cats? Okay. So I wonder what or why she treated Takeichi like a cat, seeing as he's not one himself. But it looked like it worked. So I'm sorry, Hinami, but I have to go to work soon. Oh, I'm sorry. So we could just take the day off on days like this. But I like it here. She says this with a serious face. So that's it. So she's a hard girl to read, but it seems like she really felt this way. Okay, and you. So Take, get back to your club. Okay, I guess I will. Seriously, so why do you come here? I'm not sure that's true or not. His face said, You should know that. I think he's here for the instant noodles. Well, I had no idea how coming here to read a basketball magazine has anything to do with astronomy study. So you should be reading something astronomy related instead of basketball. So, are you two doing well? So, she did, know, did not show her true feelings. Well, I pray that's not just your wishful thinking. He seems confident. Maybe Nare is affectionate with Takeichi when I am not around. Okay, right. So, um, make sure to lock up. So if you leave, just lock the doors. I kick Takeichi in the butt to get him to leave. And then I gave the keys to Hinami and left. Okay, so now that he's in the Satomi convenience store, let's see how it goes from here. So, thank you very much. Please come again. It has been a while since I had work at this time of the day, and the store is usually quiet, apart from an occasional old lady stopping by for some shopping. And it would be getting dark soon, and the store would get busier as students get out of club activities and people come home from work. So for now, I'm just sitting down on a chair based the register looking over an old tattered notebook. Hmm, so we really did, good, did a good job. It was our planetary observation journal that was full of 
our carefully written observations and research. And a while back, I had showed this to everybody at the Six Arts Club, and everybody had been surprised at how good it is. Well, I had really thought that we could do it. And if we could finish this journal, we could stop the dam's construction. But then again, it wouldn't have saved Hikari's father's job. If I do this, then Hikari would not have to move. And that's what I had believed. But as a kid, I pretended to go outside, or preferred to go outside to look at the stars instead of watching cartoons on TV. Well, I don't think there were many channels for the TV in Akito's home. So if I'm serious as I was back then, then I might even be able to pull this one off now. And there's less than a week until the peak of the Geminid meteor shower. So December 14 is coming. And just thinking about how little time we have left in our current situation, I know that it would be pointless to continue the project. So there isn't much time to prepare. And we could, or we would accomplish nothing if we keep going. I would not even feel any self satisfaction. And things would most likely get worse if we tried. Uh, so Morita san would not even have to, to tell me so. So anyone could see our situation is bad. I know that even before Morita san had come to see us. And thinking rationally, our only real option is to give up. So either this or try to calm down the people on the web and start everything over again. Or we could just give up. So whatever we did, the chance to make the night of the meteor shower into a bright night is gone. It's not like we had any right to do what we had. So we had only done it because it was something that we wanted ourselves. And even still, I had regrets. And because I had seen it. So the image that Hikari has shared with us, Hikari's vision of a bright night. But we couldn't continue. So we had to give up. So are we going to give up again? And that old patched up journal in my hand is like the remains of a dream. So Prague Starlight is going to end up just like this. So it's not going to work, it's going to fail, and it's going to end with everyone being upset at each other and fights in a breakup. Well, I'll never reach the stars. Hmm. So reality is such a dreary world after waking up from a dream. And looking at, at the stars knowing that you could not reach them is so frustratingly painful. So would I have to go through that yet again? I was looking down at the journal with a feeling of sadness and when I heard Kataro bark outside, so, is Hikari here, or, um, Saya? So I heard him bark excitedly, and I looked up. Wait, so Saya's here? So a woman so beautiful that one would, would wonder why she is in Mikazuki Village walks past the automated doors. Konnichiwa. So it's actually Orihime. Wait, so Orihime? So I wonder why Kotaro's growling now. So Kotaro had his guard up as he poked the round pig stuffed animal. It's a dog toy that Orihime had brought. 
So, you want this? So when the stuffed animal rolled over and made a bell-like sound, Kotaro suddenly jumped away from the toy. So I think he hates it and wants to dodge it. No! No barking. Just a toy, okay? It's not something to scare you. Well, I hate it still. No good. He's a coward. The dog says, are supposed to be able to alleviate stress by chewing and playing with these kinds of toys, but Kotaro didn't really play with them often. And I think he got intimidated by the bell sound from the toy. So maybe he, did, he doesn't feel stressed at all. So what happened today? I asked Orihime as she was having fun watching Kotaro growl threateningly at the little doll. So Orihime had entered Meiko University in the fall after graduating. The university is actually in the same place as the Meiko Academy, but the university is in a completely separate section. So it's adjacent to the Meiko Academy. And we were on different schedules, so we never really run in into each other randomly. And it had been a while since we had seen each other. So, did she watch it afterwards? Yeah. She looks regretful as she turns around to tell me. Well, nobody thought about it back then, so... I'm sorry, Hikari is the one who knew about it back then. So Hikari was the one who brought it up afterwards. I cringed a little, fighting to hold back tears. And at that time, Orihime was pretty close to graduating, so there was no time to get the event ready for her. It had been a while since we had last seen each other, but she really is beautiful. She had matured even more, and it had only enhanced her beauty as a woman. So do you mind sleeping Stepping back a little, I don't want to get double-wristed lock from Hikari. So I don't want Hikari to get the impression that I'm going with a much more beautiful girl. Well, I don't know where the line for cheating is, but I guess that would all depend on who you asked. And for Hikari... Ima. So I see that you like Orihime better than me. And a little chop. So it was like, I just saw myself get hit by a lariat wrestling move. But you can't hold it in anymore? Nope. She said happily as she claps her hands. And how are you going to do that? Okay, so I noticed that this episode is getting quite long, so I'm going to stop here and we'll see what, how Orihime is going to participate despite she's now in college compared to the other people in the Six Stars Club. So, unfortunately, Prog Starlight has hit a pretty big roadblock and it looks like 
there's lots of opposition, especially from Morita-san. And I wonder what they're going to do to convince Morita-san that, well, we want to make this work, and we want you to reconsider. And having all those negative comments and the flame wars on the comment threads, that shouldn't be a factor in canceling Prog Starlight. Because obviously there will be people who are upset. And it's just that they didn't moderate the comments or the boards very well. And that's why a fight got so big and it's starting to give everyone a negative impression on the Six Hearts Club. And also, I wonder if they're going to do anything to bring Saya back in the loop because Saya is still probably angry with Hikari and that's why she's been out of the picture for quite some time. But anyways, with that in mind, I'll see you later.